hi and hello and welcome back to another video i am piggybacking this um i just did like a get ready mental health um life update video it was like a chatty get ready with me um and then this was right after it that was like an hour or two ago um if you watch that video you will see that i have like this area over here that i need to go through um let me show you this is in front of my closet just stuff that we've come across that just sat so like there's like just stuff like this that has to go this is a bag of garbage um and i have a bag of get rid of i know they're both black but i will remember which one's which let me pause this real quick okay i wanted to get this and show it to you so with this i have been doing a um like a decluttering self-awareness not self-awareness like a decluttering um journey where i like reward myself i know it's kind of crazy but if i can get rid of the things that are causing me stress and anxiety and things that i know that i have to get rid of i can reward myself um basically what i've decided was grocery bags are worth 25 cents so four of those equals a dollar and then um boxes boxes or any other type of size bags is a dollar um that's not counting like trash that is like given like food trash from where we ate or anything like that like this is extra stuff um and then big things like i just got rid of a printer from where we had a mouse problem and the mice chewed up the printer so i had to throw that away um but any big appliances is worth five dollars anything that won't fit into a bag or necessarily need to go into a box um five dollars I'm not selling any of this. I could sell it um, maybe potentially down the road when I get into the shed. Um, that stuff will be sold. Um, I don't know yet. But last month I had $20 plus one big thing. So I owe myself $25. And this is February. This is the 9th. I have two bags that I've gotten rid of. My goal is to fill up another bag of things that need to go bye-bye. And yeah. If you guys hear, um, this is a reminder. Lex needs to take a nap. Echo, stop. So, this is a reminder. Echo, stop. So, basically, my goal is 180 bags or boxes total this year to get rid of. Um, that's $180 that can go towards something. We're doing a no spend if you guys don't know um i was trying to do it last month but we needed groceries and the things just like kind of spiraled out of control with like um having to purchase new headphones because uh one of my kids left my noise canceling headphones out without asking me and the dogs chewed them up so i had to replace those and i had to replace the toddler's headphones because those got chewed up and um you know like just life happens life happens um currently like, we had to take care of a plumbing issue, and we had to take care of, like, just, just, like, you know, life happens. But for the majority of the month, I'm going to give, my, or for the majority of the year, I'm going to give myself grace. Things come up, things come up, but this year is not, like, a complete no-spend year. This is a, this is, like, a minimal spend thing. Like, I do, um, as a matter of fact, hold on, let me toss this up there. So, for example, these shoes, I've had these shoes since, like, I don't even know, eight years, nine years, makes them be ten. I've had these shoes for nine years. Um, they're starting to come apart. They don't fit my feet. They are very well loved and used. Um, they're just, they're trash at this moment. So, I can get rid of these. I'm going to put these in the trash bag right here. Um... So these, these can go in the trash. However, I do know my shoe size because me and my mom wear the same, same shoe size, same shoe size. And I haven't wore gym shoes in a very long time. Like I haven't worn gym shoes since when I first got pregnant with Lex and that was in 2019 and this is 2023. And I need to get back into wearing gym shoes because I also have to get back into wearing my braces and with my, my AFO, my braces for my feet, I have to have specially made shoes that fit my braces. So like my shoe size is an eight. I have to wear a nine extra, extra wide for my braces. So, you know, so I just, I got to get back in the shoes. I got to get back into, I'm going to wear my Crocs at home 
and when I'm kayaking. But when it comes to like the gym or um, like anything, I have to wear my braces and I also have to wear my gym shoes if I'm not wearing my braces that day. These are Daniel's shoes. They go over here. Um, all shoes will be put into a pile to go onto the shoe shelf. Lex's new favorite pair of shoes is his rain boots that I got him over the summer. He loves these now. So, I hold up one. Here it is. Okay. So, you know, I'm just trying to go through things. Um, what else is there? What I want to tell you. The light that I'm using is plugged into my lamp. I'm using my lamp as lighting. Um, like I said in my other video, these are solar powered lights, but also, um, you can put them into a lamp. You can put them into your ceiling fan, whatever. These are seven Watts. They take, they use seven Watts. They're 50, 60 H Z, I guess, hour or something. I'm not exactly sure, but you can charge them via that away and use them like a regular light. Um, like I said, charge them via sun, however you want to do. You can hang them up and charge them. But basically, once when they're charged, you can use them to hang. I love these lights. Um, I think a four pack was like 50 bucks, but honestly, they save so much, so much on our electric bill and just all around because like I can charge them via the sun or plugged in and use them while I'm doing YouTube videos and I can take them, hang them in the bathroom, take a shower, relax, don't have to flip on lights. Um, kids can use it to flip on a light for when they need to go to the bathroom, whatever, 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 whatever. Okay. I thought I'd show you that real quick. Um, my Duncan's cup. My mom's got a purple one. I forget what hers says. She got me one and her one back in October around Halloween. These glow in the dark. Um, this one says I'm spooky before my Duncan's. I love this cup. It's very well, very well um, made with like melting, like sweating. Um, I love this cup. I put ice in here and water and just constantly refill. But I'm not drinking that. I'm drinking iced coffee at home. Like I said, no spin. And honestly, I only get Dunkin's every great once in a while unless my mom gets it. I forget once in a while, like every four to five months. Unless I'm treating myself out. So, I'm like adjusting my pants, y'all. Life, life. All right, let's get into this. Um, let me show you what I want to get into. I was not recording. This is what I'm getting into. And then I will show you on Into the Closet after I tackle this. Open my bag. If you hear trains, it's Lexus sound machine on um, the Echo Dot. Opening the bag. Opening the bag. Okay. Anything that is keep is going up on the bed. Because then I am forced at the end of the day to not because like this is daniel's chair that he sits in that i'm like using the prop on my phone um i physically i cannot leave it on my bed for us to sleep and daniel puts his work clothes here so i can't bury his work clothes Let's see okay all right let's see lexus pillow just ooh, this just got washed um his coconut one pillow this is going up on the bed he can have that doesn't really sleep with it like he's starting to somewhat get into pillows um what are these at this point if it's in my room and the kids have plenty of clothes um they're they're going bye bye okay these these can go these are one of mason's clothes that was meant to get rid of anyways um my dirty shirt why is it over why is it over there there's a pile of dirty clothes right here. I've got mine and Daniel's laundry baskets washing at this moment. So, there's that. What is this? Okay, this is Aubrey's. Um, Aubrey got this. She paid for this, but it's in. The, it stayed. It was in the van. End up in my room. Um, Aubrey's got other ones that she prefers over this one. And honestly, she hasn't like look. It, it's basically brand new. Um, it's just one of those things she bought. You know, she doesn't even remember it. I'm going to put it in the bag. Some other child can use it. And Daniel got this one from my grandmother for Christmas. Um, it is a foot massager. He loves this thing. I know for a fact this is not going anywhere. However, this is Daniel's. It stays by his computer. I'm going to set it behind my phone. Let's see. 
Okay, Mason does Mason does wear this. This is his um sweater. He's been looking for that. I'm just gonna go ahead and wash it and then he can have it. Alright, this. This blanket, okay, let me let me explain something. This is a deer blanket. It is really warm. Um, I got this. Oh, shoot and snap and oh crap. This thing is tore apart. Okay. Um, so this blanket I got when we got the camper for the kids to like stay warm and stuff like that. My kids are naturally cold blooded like me. Um, all my kids are. And it was in our old van that's out in our driveway. And I like, I love this thing. It's so thick. It's so warm. This was Mason's. Um, but then he hasn't used it in like years. I mean, like he hasn't used it since 2019 and now it's like completely tore up. Yeah, I could fix it. But at the same time, like it's, it can go, it can go bye-bye. All right. There's that. Okay. This is a cooler. Y'all listen, I went to Alexandria Community Church and um this was oh my goodness i was pregnant with mason and like i said this is a igloo cooler like it's pretty spacious on the inside and everything i got it for free um i needed it i needed a bag like i needed a diaper bag at the moment um like i needed a purse and a bag and everything in between and i love this bag but unfortunately here's the thing I washed this. It's clean. Um, I haven't used it in almost four or five years, except for like holding stuff into it. And I don't want to use it as a container. I'd rather give it to somebody where they can use it and enjoy it and love it. Plus, I have another bag that's in my van that replaced this one because I could not find this one. And um, it's got that one in there. It's got a lot more space than this one, even though this is pretty spacious. Spacious. Spacious? All right. So there's that. All right, what is this? These are Daniels. Daniels or mine? Mine or Daniels? If it's a small, it's Daniel. No, these are extra large. So these are mine. At this point, I'm just gonna wash everything. Okay. This is a Wii guitar. It does not work. Um, it's actually, it's never worked, unfortunately. Um, my aunt got it when she bought the Wii off my grandparents. Like, it lights up, but it, like, it doesn't, it doesn't do anything. Um, yeah, it does not do anything. I don't know what she did with it. She bought it brand new, nothing wrong, but I don't know what she did with it. And then we bought the Wii off of her with everything, and this is, like, the only thing that doesn't work. So, this can go bye-bye. This can go in the garbage. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to count this garbage bag as a reward I like to mark off because I am cleaning this out over here. Yes, there is diapers in it from this morning. Yes, there is garbage from where the kids opened up candy last night that is in there that just ended up in my room. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So, you know, but majority of the bag is empty. Um, this is a charger cord. I don't hold on to all charger cords, but given the fact that this is like a smaller one, I feel like this would be good for, um, anything that the kids need to charge in their room that is like, it's like we got the towers that I did a video on a while ago. Um, these are short enough that they could push it to the back and the dogs can't just like grab it and pull it forward from in the living room. So these are good. And this is like heavy duty. So this is... This is going up on the bed. All right, this sucker. Got this for Mason a while ago. This thing was like 70 bucks at Walmart. The mice got into it, chewed up some cords. Um, it got waterlogged. And honestly, well, it got waterlogged first. Didn't really work anymore. And then um, the mice chewed it up. It was in our closet. So cords are chewed. I don't know what he did back here, but this is garbage. I can officially get rid of that now mason said that he does want to replace it um he does want to replace it that's fine he can replace it with his own money because um he destroyed it on his own and we're like i said we're teaching the kids value of money i think i said it in this video or last video basically they're they gotta earn their value like not earn but 
my kids have a tendency because of their ODD and ADHD that they don't really want to value um, anything and they think that well this is any kid but they take it to another level so um real quick this is Mason's it's got Aubrey stuff in it too I'm not getting rid of this he puts his um Pokemon stuff in here right now it's got Aubrey stuff in it this can go up here for right now and he can get that when he comes home um I'm just picking up garbage at the second like li literally garbage but anyways by giving them, by having them have an allowance, they are appreciating the value of money better and, um, like how to save things and impulses because they do have impulse control issues. This is a, um, a teaching and way to teach them to work on impulse control because I'd rather them not, well, they, you're not going to master, like, I don't care what anybody says, you're not going to master, um, spending you're not. I, I I don't care what like what you are. Like you have to go and spend money, especially impulsively sometimes when it comes to things like, um. Like there is like okay, you can borrow somebody's refrigerator if your refrigerator goes out, but sometimes like you're gonna have to impulsively buy something, like you can impulsively not want to. You know you didn't plan on going into the store and getting your kids candy, but then you go in there and you're like, hey, you know they've been good today. I'm gonna I'm gonna buy these. I like they're thought out, but. They weren't like planned, you know what I mean? Like, I'm trying to explain this. Anyways, if I can help them get that figured out now, or somewhat figured out now before they're teenagers and then trying to do it then, and then, when, or like when they hit adulthood, I don't want them getting into financial debt on things that they shouldn't have to and really work, not work towards, but you know what I mean? Like, I understand like, hey, I can hold off and get this. Like, Mason wants a set of wheelies. Remember the wheelies back in our day where the shoe had the wheel on the bottom? Okay. Cannot find them anywhere. I didn't think to go to Heelys.com, but I like, um, there's a girl that's in Mason's class that has a pair. I was talking to her mom and I was like, Hey, I was like, I said, Hey, how much were those? And she was like, they're 60 bucks. And she was like, I was like, I can't find them anywhere. And I was like, I'm just trying to get like an idea on how much they are because, um, you know, I'm cleaning a door like but, you know, I was trying to get, um, you know, an idea how much they are. They are about 60 bucks, 60 bucks plus tax and, you know, plus shipping and tax. You do have to go online to get them. Um, however, uh, you know, that's fine. So I told him, I said, we can meet you halfway where you give 30 and we do 30 or you can come up with the full 60 and I'll just pay for the shipping. Okay? Like, whatever you want to do. He is currently deciding on that. We're going to have... Um, every Tuesday, we have a family meeting now. So, we are going to sit down and figure out what he wants to do. Because he gets paid $34. Or... No, he gets paid $36 every month. And he's got a budget binder where he goes, like, puts money to towards church. His savings. Um, birthdays. Christmas. So on and so on and so on and so on and so on. And then, like hygiene and clothing and shoes so that's on him so I think what I'm gonna do is is he can I mean I don't have I don't have a problem meeting him halfway um I just don't want to spend 30 bucks as crazy as this is I don't want to spend 30 dollars and him not value them as it to him come up with the full price so or who knows he could pay for the whole entire thing it's it's all up to him it's all up to a family little meeting together you know if he wants to pay shipping and handling and taxes and all that then he can do that but um he's gonna have to we're gonna have to discuss that okay now on to the closet let me show you Okay, this is what's left. I do have to vacuum over here. The vacuum's in the living room. I'm not getting it. I'm not going to run it like so sleeping. But um, I need to get these pulled out. These are our clothes. Um, in my previous video, I will, I'll explain to you in a minute. Like I said in the previous video too. And then Daniel's backpack and this fan. I just completely like exited out of recording. So everything's still there. But <sighs> okay, okay, okay. So, I have to pull out these clothes out of the closet. These are um, our seasonal clothes and by our other, by the door in our living room, um, I have our tote full of clothes that are seasonal. 
these are extra seasonal clothes that we didn't get to these are like the summer those are like summer and fall you know, okay like you get it okay however i think i'm going to invest in another tote um i'll probably ask my grandmother if she's got a tote she's got a bunch of them the only thing is she has lids and she has totes but a lot of her lids and totes don't go together um I would like to empty these out and put these in the tote. I love the vacuum seal bags. They do save time and hassle. However, the, or, well, space. However, um, the only thing I don't like about them is if a mouse or, like, the, sp the smallest little thing punctures it, it's impossible to find the hole and everything else. This fan is from the summer. And it is plugged into Daniel's thing. I would like to put this in the closet. And yeah, this needs to get put in the closet because I do want to be bring the heater over here and plug it in. Give me just a second and I'll figure this out. Well, okay, hold on. So the clothes do get put up. They go in our shed outside. However, because we're in between changing seasons, like this is February 9th. Here pretty soon we're going to be getting into spring clothes um like we're still gonna be wearing a little bit of winter but we're gonna be getting in spring and then summer they're just already in the house okay just for the convenience of other things that we had to get into they are here so um yeah i am going to get this a reason why i am moving all of this is because i want to bring the exercise bike in here and work on the exercise bike in my room because i can get on it first thing in the morning before the kids are up I can get do it late at night when the kids are in bed. Like, I don't necessarily have to go into the living room to do that. I can do it in my room. Um, uh, my nose. All right. Let me get on to this. Let me pull this stuff out. Remember how I got rid of the printer? Look what I found. I found the cord that goes to the printer. It's, it's going in the trash. I should have grabbed my camera and went with me. There was like scratching going on. I couldn't figure out what the heck was going on. It was my dog. He wasn't even kenneled. He was in his kennel scratching. Like, I don't know. The door was wide open. The door was wide open. But yet, like, he was like scratching the bottom of it. Like, he was trying to get comfortable. But at the same time, like, he was trying to get out. It was weird. Like, he just derped out for a minute. I don't know. I was like, what are you doing? All right, let me show you. Y'all, look what I found over here on my floor. I found two Frisbees, so. <sighs> I think these are the dogs, but I'm going to get rid of them. Alright, so I'm going to create a pile on the floor right over here. Um, the fan's going in here, but I'm going to create a pile right over here by the bed on the floor of things that need to go in the get rid of bag. Um, this is a sheet bed like set sheet that goes to our bed however it does not fit our bed at all um it's too little like here's the sheet and here is the fitted like the fitted sheet part it does not fit it's gonna go in the get rid of bag somebody else can use it um i loved it because it's pink and pink is like one of my new favorite colors it just don't fit there's a pile however this gray one does fit which is weird, like same brand, same thing, same same size, same everything. The gray one fits. So gray can go up here for a minute right now. All right, I'm getting into the closet itself. Let me show you something. This is a doll that my grandmother, so my mom's mom's mom, my great-grandmother, her sister-in-law made it. And she made it just for me. I was a surprise baby. Um, the bottle is, the bottle top is gone. I think one of my old dogs, I know, one of my old dogs chewed it off. But she crocheted and put this doll together. I love this doll, guys. I love it so much. This is my, this was like my first ever baby doll. I love it. So, I think it's cute. Let's see. Let me see if I can get a picture with it. Okay, let's see. Hold on. Wait. Okay, here. Let's see. Gotta do this hand. Let's see.
but um it used to suck its thumb and everything so i'm not i'm not getting rid of this one at all by no means okay let's see okay um this is a backpack that lex got or was it aubrey no it was aubrey she got a backpack full of stuff and then lex was using it however um i feel like another kid can use it in the meantime so it's gonna go over in there into the donate okay we got some hogwarts extended edition cards what do we got in here oh goodness all right we've got a fanny pack which i have one already that i prefer to use it's over there this can go in the get rid of pile hang on just a second let me see what we got i want to make sure there's nothing in here i think i got this for the zoo or for a trip or something um not exactly sure i do know i got it for um my power chair for when i'm out and about i can just pop it around my waist and not have a bag or something dangling but i do have my other one that has more room than this one so this is a donate this is a sports bag that i got many years ago Sam alexandria church it's got a place for your keys um you know what i've had it for so long i haven't used it in so long actually no hold on i know what i just used this um i'm actually going to go back to using it i was putting all of the game switches i was putting all of the nintendo switches that we have in here all the games for the switch all of the extra pieces except for the ring um it was all going in here i'm not getting rid of this i am going to toss this on my bed because that's what we used it for and it's great to have everything together in that bag and we just grab it and go when we go to only thing we need is like the the tv part to plug it all in okay let's see here's mr thugs mr thugs had a little um he had a little jacket on him and he looked like a little bitty thug his name is mr thugs mr thugs stays in my closet but i think what i'm going to start doing is i'm going to pop him up over here with the doll so let's see if i can see if i can get some where i'm going what is all this right here hold on oh my legs are getting tired these are all ds games i think i'm gonna put the ds games with the other games um nintendo 3ds they know it's got like all the games to it Not a marker, daily journal, daily journal, This is not Daniel's handwriting, and it's not mine. Clearly, it's important to him, and it's all filled out. So I'm not, I'm not getting rid of that for him. I'm just not. Like that's not my place. However, there is two of these. This is from March 2019. These are um, a woman's guide to intimacy. They are. Oh shoot! What the heck are these called? Um, it's a it's a um it's called like the daily devotion daily bread but there's like a certain name for them they're from lifeway our church gets them every month and they're great i i'm gonna put them right here because even though they're from 2019 i can still put them some like i can put them um somewhere and somebody else can grab it like even though it's old it's not old news you know what i mean it's not god's word is never old news all right let me straighten up this like cubic this spot right here and then um we will get to putting stuff up 
I found a pack of Uno cards. Not all of them is here, but I'll tell you what. Um, I can get another pack with all of them there. That's no big deal. And then I found the pieces to my power chair that are for the inside of the van to keep it from sliding around. Um, these did not actually fit my chair for in the van, so I have to get new pieces anyways. And I can't return these. These are already in my name. So, um, yeah. I'm just going to throw these away. They're like, they're... Like, it's weird. These are custom fitted for my chair, but they don't fit my chair. So, like, they're like a one design floor stopper in the vehicle when you strap it all in to keep it from moving around. So, I'm going to throw these away. Okay, other than what you just saw, um, what I got rid of. That's all I got rid of. I just reorganized it in there to, like, fit better. This is my, um, Try Jesus, Please Don't Try Me. Hat. I love this hat. This is going to get hung up right here. This actually goes to my mom. I'm going to take that to her probably this weekend. So I'm going to take this down and toss this up onto the bed. Okay, I got it. Then this and this can go. Wait, hold on. I didn't want to show you some stuff. Okay, let's see. Not that. Um... This was something that my grandmother got, and I absolutely love it, but I feel like um, somebody else would appreciate it a lot more than sitting in my closet because I haven't figured out where it to put it. It's the Ten Commandments. Actually, you know what? I'm going to hold on to this, and I will find a place for this because this was in this house all of my life, and I just feel like, I feel like it fits. So, I'm going to hold on to that. And then you see how I was talking about he had another backpack? He has another backpack. This is the one that he actually got from the hands program that, like, you can use. So, um, yeah. I'm holding on to this one. Alright, let's see. This actually needs to go on Daniel's chair. That way we can put it on the bed. So, let's see. Um, I'm going to hang this up right here on the little thing so I could see it to remember in the closet. Open the cubby, cubby, cubby. Open the cubby. Oh, what is this? Okay, this is Daniel's Hogwarts pillowcase. Um, I'm pretty sure he's going to want to put it on the bed, so it fits over his pillow, so that's aptly keep if you don't know. Okay, here's the other pillowcase. I'm going to figure out another spot for all these, like, pillowcase covers. Because we have too many of them. And even though, like, we have too many of them, we change, like, Daniel changes our pillowcase covers a lot. So, like, it fits. All right, let's see. I'm going to put this right back here for the meantime. Mr. Thugs, you can go up here. Up in the closet. And then... This can go here, right here. Here's Mr. Bugs. Alright, let's see. Two hangers. This is driving me bonkers, so this one is not even. There we go. There we go. Okay, now. What do I want to do? Oh. Daniel's backpack needs to go up on the little cubicle space. Up out of the way. Let's see. That wind is really bad. We have a really high wind advisory. Okay. Pull all this out. Try not to trip and die. Going, going. All right, it's going to be summertime. I hope not. Well, I hope not like in the spring, but it's gonna be summertime soon. So the van can go in the closet. Oh god, there's a dead man. Okay, okay. We caught a mouse in the trap down here. I did not know. I'm terrified of mice. 
now I'm itchy because like I don't like mice. Okay, let me show you. So this is all, this is garbage. This is get rid of right there. So there's my drink on the floor. Some of this is going back. This is going in the closet like that game is going in the closet. Um, but I just want to do this part. I don't know how many times I've accidentally stopped this video. But remember how I got this one, right? It's got the extender on it. That's great. That's fine. That's fine. Fine. Okay, this is the one I got. This is the one that I use. This one has more space in it than this one. And I feel like this one just like drags and drops more. You know, like when you put a little bit of weight in it and it just falls. That's what this one does. And I don't, I don't like that one. However, this one like holds up pretty well. And I love this one. Um, I can see it. Um, yeah, and I got this one. Goodness, I think I bought this one at Walmart. If not Walmart, it was Amazon. But I know it was like 10 bucks for this one. So I thought y'all would want to see it. Basically, same concept as this one, same layout. Oh gosh, same layout and everything. Just you know, it's not. Um, this one just doesn't hold as more. All right, I want to put this in here. Red marker, my marker bin. Okay, now I want to pull out this green because I'm feeling pretty green right now. So, as a marker wise, all right, I'm pretty sure I came to a whole bag. Now, these bags right here, they're not the hefty bags. You can't put, like, too much in them. Like, you can't fill them all the way to the top without a blessing. But I know, like, the fill line before, like, a bless. So, hold on. This... This goes to my vacuum, so this can go right here for right now. This needs to go over here in the garbage. This bag is full, by the way. Like, I can't put nothing else in it. All right. Then we've got the sheets. Now I'm like, I'm starting to get full. All right, sheets. And these and that is as much as I can fill in there without it busting unless well hang on I think I'm gonna throw this in there too this is clean um I feel like somebody else can use it it's just where you get the popcorn um I don't know I feel like somebody else can use it like I said so I'm going to pop this in there and that will be it now because I got two bags completely full um and I will take this out to the van when we go to get into our van. I want to tie this up. Okay. Give me just a second. Give me grace. Alright. Now where, oh where is that book? Book, 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 book. There it is. Alright, so because I filled up this bag behind me all the way and this one all the way, I am going to give myself two. So, instead of two up here from where I previously sat, I get to add two more. So, that's $4 in here. Oh, I did do green last time. Maybe that's why I'm feeling green. Alright, let's see. So, I can do four. I don't know. I feel... I feel pretty great. Okay, hold on. I just... I had to rewrite the 25 because I thought the 25 was in permanent marker and I was like, I want to see. Okay. So, I got four written at the top. I feel great. So, I'm probably... I'm not going to do 20 bags. I'm not. I'm not going to do 20 bags. I'm not going to do 20 boxes. I'm not going to do all that. Um... Each month, if I do 150 bags, that comes out to 15 bags a month. Um, some months, I'm just going to give myself grace. In January, I felt great. I was good. I can accomplish that. And I did. I got 20 out of 15. And, yeah. This month, if I get four, if I get five, whatever. So be it. All right. I'm going to drink my water. I'm going to relax. I'm going to edit this video. And I will see you guys in another
vlog tastic video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, give us a big thumbs up, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye, guys.